you don't love me. I mean, that's what you're saying. Yes. jailbird friend. What's it to you who I hang around with? Well, if there's one thing I cannot abide, it's a common type woman. I know a blonde coming between a man and his wife. Nobody knows him like I do. And I won't end him up with a policeman's bullet in his heart like that Robert's boy you hung around last year.
Why don't you get a new coat of paint? <laughs> You're starting to peel, you old pleasure boat. I got something to show you. This was a real nice plan, babe. We're mighty glad we came. The riddles we had were good, you bet. The company was the same. Out of the driftwood fire They sizzled and crackled and sputtered A song fitting for an angel's choir Fitting for an angel's, fitting for an angel's Fitting for an angel's choir Then at last come the clams Steam of the rock Weed and coming from their shells Just how many Time for us to start? Yeah, well, we'll wait for everybody to start on that treasure hunt and you and me get lost. You stop your staring at Carrie. She's spoken for. Besides, you get no time for women tonight. Oh, sure I have. You know me. Quick or nothing. Seeger. After we do it, what do we do then? Well, we bury the treasure. And then we wait a year. And we dig it up, we ship out. First class. Yeah, the baby be born by then. Well, well, we'll take it along with us. I wouldn't dream of leaving it behind. Maybe we'll sail to San Francisco. Hey, Nettie, ain't it about time for the treasure hunt? Let's go, yeah. Nettie. What do you say, huh? All right, all right. Y'all got your partners. Two men to each team. You got a half an hour to find the treasure. The men will win to kiss any girl. You can't leave it like this for the next picture. Billy! No. Julie says that you should come and help her. Ain't you going on the treasure hunt? No, oh, I don't feel so good, ma'am. Oh. Maybe the clams ain't setting so good on your stomach. No, it's, uh, it's nothing on my stomach. It's something on my mind. And now look here, Mr. Craig, and I ain't got no time for no fish stories. Well, you know, you're sweeter than sugar and I'm crazy for you. I never had this feeling before for anyone. Mr. Craig. Oh, you know, just to see your lovely smile, I'd swim through beer with my mouth closed. Give us a little kiss, huh? Oh, Mr. Craig, and I couldn't. You'd swim through what? Didn't you hear me say I loved you? Well, Mr. Craig, and I'm sorry for you, but well, what can I do? Enoch and me are going to be crying in church on Sunday. He just set the date. You're too late. Well, I'll drown myself. No, don't do that. Well, give us a little kiss. It's not the end of the world. But Enoch wouldn't like it. Well, I don't want to kiss Enoch. Mr. Craig. Oh, forget it. Oh, I really loved you, Carrie, but I ain't got all night. Well, I thank you not to yell at me, Mr. Cragen. If you love me like you say you do, then I wish you'd show me the same kind of respect like you would if you didn't love me. 
Oh, Carrie. Carrie, uh, uh, Miss Pittridge. Uh, just one word, please. I, mean, I know I don't deserve your forgiveness, but, well, I just couldn't help myself. I mean, for a few awful minutes there, I just let the brute come out of me. Uh, well, I think I understand. Well, thank you, Miss Pittridge. Thank you very kindly. Uh, there is just one thing, though, that worries me a lot. It's about you. About me? Oh, you're such a sweet little innocent. Well, you had no right to stay here and alone with a man you hardly know. I mean, suppose I was a different type of fella. You know, unprincipled. Type of fella that would use his physical strength to have his will. There are such men, you know. Uh, I know. And every girl should be able to defend herself against beasts like that. Now, there are... There are certain grips in wrestling I could teach you. Old tricks that would send a masher sprawling in two minutes flat. Oh, but I ain't strong enough. Oh, don't take strength. It's all in balance. A little twist of the wrist, dig with the elbow. And... Oh, here, let me let me just show you a simple one. Might save your life someday. Now, suppose a feller grabbed you like that. Now you put your two hands on my neck. Now pull me towards you. That's it. Now pull my head down. Good. Now put your right arm all the way around my neck. And squeeze hard. Uh, tighter. Uh, oh, good girl. Uh, does it hurt? You got me helpless. Oh, good. Show me another. Right. Now, here's how you take a fella and send him sprawling. Now, I'll just stand here and you get a hold of... Uh, no, 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 wait a minute. I'll do it to you first. <laughs> then you can do it to me. Now, just stand still and relax. Here's what? how firemen carry people. Oh, it is? See how helpless you can make a fella if he gets fresh with you? Uh, Carrie! Uh, uh, hello, Enoch. Uh, this is the way firemen carry people. Where's the fire? Uh, uh, well, uh, Mr. Craig in here was just showing me how to defend myself, Enoch. Well, it didn't look like you learned very much by the time I came. Oh, what's all the fussing about? In my opinion, sir, you are as scurvy a hunk of scum as I ever seen near the water's edge at low tide. I never thought I'd see the woman I was engaged to being carried out of the woods like a fallen deer. Oh, he wasn't carrying me out of the woods. He was carrying me into the woods. No, I didn't mean that, Enoch. I think we've said all we have to say. I never could abide women that are free, loose, and lollygagging. Oh, Enoch, please say you forgive me. Say something sweet. Say something soft and sweet. Say something soft and sweet. Boston cream pie. Jigger? Billy, are you going with Jigger? Sure, we're going to look for treasure. Don't you think that's foolish? Why? Well, neither one of you knows the island good. Why don't you just stay here and... But Jigger and me is partners. Well, see, come on, Jigger. Say we play some cards, huh? All right. Look, supposing he don't come. He will. You, uh, you got any money? Yeah. 80 cents. <laughs> well, money's money. Game's 21. I'll bank, I'll deal. Now, uh, what do you say to him? I say, excuse me, sir, can you tell me the time? What if he answers me? He won't. I'm gonna bet the bank. Ooh, sounds like he's got an ace. Maybe. Again. Too much. Check it. You ever killed a man? I wouldn't be likely to say so, would I? No, I guess you wouldn't if you did. Look, what I mean is tonight. Supposing. Well, someday when we die, huh, we're gonna have to go up before... 
Well, before who? Before God. <laughs> you and me, not a chance. What's the highest court they ever dragged you into? Police magistrate, I guess. Never been before a Supreme Court judge, have you? No. No. It's the way it is in the next world. For the rich folks, it's the heavenly court and the high judge. For you and me, it's police magistrates. For the rich, it's fine music and chubby little angels. Wait a minute. You mean we won't get no music? Not a note. All we get is justice. And there'll be plenty of that for you and me. Do you want to go on with the game? I told you how much I had. Oh, you can play on credit. Do you mean you're going to trust me? No, but I'll deduct it. From what? Your share of the money. Yeah, all right. Now, Baskin's carrying 3,000. That'll be the bank. We each got 1,500 to play with. I'll bet 50. Make it 100. Enough. Double or nothing. Double or nothing it is. You know, it's getting kind of late. They'd be coming back from that plane bank any second now. I wish he'd come. He will. Enough. 21 again. Are you cheating? Me. Do I look like a cheat? Five hundred. Dollars? Yeah, dollars. Oh, he's a real plunger, ain't he? Yeah, sure. Or a little one. That makes seven hundred you owe me. Seven hundred? Trouble or nothing. Now stand pat. Twenty-one, a natural. Good night, Captain. Good night, Mr. Glasgow. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me the time? Now, you just do as I tell you. Both of you. And drop that knife. And drop that knife! All right, up there on the Nazi B. All